Welcome to Alpha Complex. Alpha Complex is a vast bunker city built to protect the human race, that's you, from a world-shaking disaster caused by Redacted, until the planet is safe again. The computer is your Redacted. In this episode, our players learn about the world they're in and discover that everything is awful. The intent of the algorithmic culture programming is to explore the underlying experiences of a world increasingly defined by automation. We have brought together four incredible people exploring where technology and culture are going. We believe that play and improvisation are opportunities to resist the automation and homogenization of culture. And so we have put them in a game set in a future world where things have gone badly. So the laundry bot moves towards you slightly um, and then actually grabs you oh. and lifts you up in the air. That's not nice. I'm going to shoot him. <laughs> I think he's well, obviously he's a traitor. I'm going to do everything in my power to make this difficult for you, which is kind of exciting. I spent my whole career mostly working with very large companies trying to find ways of tricking them into doing things that are a little bit more human or humane uh, and most of the time failing miserably. So I teach computer science students a little bit about social implications of their work and try to teach the philosophy students enough about AI to understand what's going on in that world. A lot of my work uh, relates to when it comes to when it comes to wearing the artist hat, um, just ideas of grief and trauma and how it relates back to community. I am an associate professor of ecological design for performance at York University where I teach issues uh, and the research issues related to the intersection of sustainability, arts and culture. Often like in these conversations we have an expert talking to another expert and arguing points around their expertise. What that does is it doesn't really give access to folks who don't have that level of training or that level of education or even that kind of education or training. And so we're trying to find ways so that more and more people can meaningfully engage with some of the ideas that this field are suggesting. I think this is an interesting time to be talking about the systems we create and why we create them and why we want to be either rebuilding them or destroying them and starting from scratch. And even if it comes in the way of a role-playing game about AI and about a system that we live in, it feels very timely and it feels very reflective of the kind of work that we're in conversations that we're doing right now. I, I guess with games like this, it's a little frustrating to have no idea what's going on, but also kind of fun to just go with the flow. Okay, so you are clambering up this giant robot's leg, and you are going to try to find an opening. I, I break open a panel, and I, I do my best. All right, so what, what skills are we going to use here? What stats and what skills? Pro program and mechanics. Program and mechanics, That's good. That's a four. That's a four, all right. I mean, I think this uh, project has a, has a really fun combination of, of themes coming from the game and Jerry's sort of thematic vision of the issues he wanted to deal with in that it is, you know, all of these uh, dark and ominous and tense and dystopian ideas, but it's also absurd and playful and a little bit of, uh, you know, like a cheekily retro uh, spin to it. So that was really fun to bring to life. And your wounds, by the way, are not healed. The computer did not find it to be uh, efficient. I think the computer can go f itself. <laughs> oh, I think that that is a thing to avoid saying around the computer. How long till you guys go to sleep? Um, we are told when to sleep. There is a low whistling sound, and we sleep for the duration of that whistling sound. <laughs> yes, very much like that. Thank you. Always wanted to drown a <laughs> dude in soup. Uh, who who had dangerous society wrecking ideas? Yes, that is. You're a hero in my eyes. <laughs> Thank you. And maybe a villain in mine. <laughs> I feel like I've fulfilled my role. <laughs>
um, there are lots of different opportunities to engage. And the priority consistently is to tap into the underlying experience, not just the concepts, not just the high level ideas, not just the abstract ethics, but what does it actually mean to a person living their life? And then how do we use art as a way to give people access to that in a way that is beautiful and in a way that is respectful of the ideas that are contained therein.